Got a Creality K1 or K1 Max and you're getting pop-ups on the screen reminding you to update the firmware and you don't know if you want to update it. I'll show you how to stop the pop-ups and I'll show you what I do to update it on a rooted machine with mainsail installed. So stick around. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Scott. Edge of 3D, and you've rooted your K1 or your K1 Max, you don't have the latest firmware, and you keep getting the pop-ups reminding you there's latest firmware. Well, there's a couple ways to handle that. First off, if you're happy with the way the machine's running and you don't see anything in the update notes that is something you think you need or know you need or anything like that, and you just want to continue with your printer the way it's going, you don't want to see the pop-ups anymore. The easiest way is just to shut them off so they don't keep popping up on there. And let me show you right quick. It's real simple. It's in the menu. If you haven't played around with it, you may not have discovered it yet, but it's right here. Let me get this thing to pop up. Go into settings. We don't want that. And right down here, update reminder. Just turn that off. And that's it. That's how simple it is. Turn off the update reminder and it goes away. However, say you want to update, you've already installed Moonraker and either Fluid or Mainsail or both. You've done a lot of work in there and stuff and you're worried about what it'll break. Let's go ahead and upgrade it, install the latest firmware, and I'll show you what happens and how to fix it. Well, it's done in downloading. We'll wait on it to install and printer to reboot, and we'll see what all it broke. All right, now we're rebooting, and here in just a minute, we'll start playing around with it and see if it broke anything and what we have to do to fix it. And of course, there it's asking us to recalibrate before starting the printing task. We're not going to do that because it's going to send us to their calibration and we don't want to use that anymore because we're calibrating in Moonraker mainsail fluid. Okay, the new firmware is installed, the machine's booted up, and we have an error. Unknown exception. So jump over here onto our mainsail and it'll give us an idea of what it is. Right here, we're getting a clipper error because one of the include files does not exist. That's fine. Don't worry about it. What we need to do at this point right here is jump into Machine, Printer CFG, open up Notepad++, which I already have one open here, but we'll just do a new one. Click anywhere in here, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, grab your Notepad++, hit Control V to paste all of this over into Notepad++, and then at that point, you need to go back and reinstall everything for Moonraker, Fluid, uh, Mainsail. So I'll put a link to the GitHub here. Basically start with restore factory settings. So you're going to want to reset the factory settings and then it tells you how to get into SSH and then you're going to want to reinstall the helper script and then reinstall everything that you had installed before. So let's get to that. Once that's done, we'll jump back on here and I'll show you how to recover all your work that you did in your previous printer config files, such as your bed and hot end PID, XY axis um, input shapers, that sort of stuff. If you made a lot of changes in your printer config file and you want to hang on to that, this is how you do it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump through here, restore everything on this machine, and we'll be back. Okay, there it is. So, you're going to want to open up an instance of PuTTY. Go ahead and SSH into the machine. And then you're going to want to go back to the installation guide on GitHub. And right here under Install Updated and Rooted Firmware, scroll down just a little bit. Skip the startup self-check. Go down here. Copy this. Right-click over here in your SSH and just hit enter, and that's done, it's taken care of. Now, we'll reboot the machine again, and you'll see that'll go away. It won't come up the next time. Okay, so you've got your new firmware from Creality in the machine, you've gone through the GitHub, and you've reinstalled all the package for uh, Clipper, to interface with Clipper. 
uh, Moonraker mainsail, fluid, and any of the options you wanted on there. Power off the machine, power it back on, do a hard reboot. Now we're back over to our mainsail. And if you're using fluid, over here in fluid, basically the same thing. I'm doing this in mainsail. Go to your machine tab, hit your printer config. Now, if you want to redo everything you've done, and the only thing you've done is input shaper and bed PID and nozzle PID, then you really don't need to do this. But if you've done a lot more in here and changed settings like maximum speed, currents, anything like that, and you just don't want to have to go through and do it all again, it's real simple. Go to your page that you saved in Notepad++ and you want to start right here at MCU, okay? You don't want to copy any of this stuff up here. Just start here at MCU. Just select all the way down from MCU to the end of the document. Hit Control C to copy it. Jump over here, start at MCU, all the way to the end of the document, and then just hit your Delete, and then Control V, and there you go. That moves everything from your previous config over. What you don't want to mess with is all the includes up here because some of those change, and if you change your includes or go back to your old includes, you'll have broken links. Click Save and Restart, and you'll see the printer restarting. You'll get an unknown exception error on your screen. Give it a minute to finish up its reboot, and that should go away. And there we go. We're booted back up. Everything's in there and working. You've got your Moonraker, and then whichever user interface you want to use, whether you're using uh, mainsail or fluid. Uh, there's fluid. And there's mainsail. Mainsail's what I prefer. Everybody has their own that they prefer. They both do the same thing. And that's it. It's just that simple. So you have a couple options. Just turn off the reminder so that it doesn't keep coming up and bugging you to, to install the latest firmware if you're happy with what you've got. If you want the new firmware and you want to go ahead and install it, that's how you do it. And that's how you save all of your configuration files from before without breaking any links. Like I say, it's vitally important that when you're copying and pasting those into the new one, you do not copy and paste the include files. Leave those out because as things change, some of those include files, names, and file locations will change. And if you copy those over, all of a sudden when you reboot, you'll get broken links and you'll have errors and all that. So that is it, everyone. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you watching. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe right here. If you want to see more of these videos, the next video, which was going to be this video, I'm going to show you on the bed mesh. Everybody gets in here, first thing they do is run a bed mesh, and they see a picture that looks like this. And what do I do? And I'm going to show you how I do it. Stick around. That'll be my next video. I appreciate each and every one of you watching. Stick around. There'll be more. And as always, peace out.